If you wanna know how your liver detoxification affects your hormones, then this is the video for you. Make sure to subscribe so I can help you get your hormones in harmony and optimize your health. And don't forget to click the bell so that you'll be the first to know when I produce my new videos. Welcome back to the Hormone Healing Show. Today, I'm gonna to show you how your liver detoxifies your hormones and how that affects your hormonal health. It's super important. So liver detoxification, we talk about it a lot. We talk about detoxing our bodies, doing cleanses, but what exactly are you doing? And why doesn't your body just do this naturally? Well, it does, but you just gotta give your body the right stuff. So let's talk about how hormones are metabolized and detoxified so you understand what's happening in your body. So first of all, all toxins, pesticides, poisons, drugs, all toxins go through the liver, all of them do. But so do your hormones and other biochemistry that you make that's still floating around in the bloodstream that your body doesn't need anymore. So they go into the liver to be detoxified. In other words, to get rid of them. All of these toxins, especially hormones, are fat soluble, meaning that they need to be broken down so that they can be water soluble. Fat soluble um, toxins and hormones are difficult to get rid of. Water soluble are easier. And so your liver uses enzymes called P450 enzymes that creates these water soluble compounds. So the toxins are water soluble. Unfortunately, water soluble toxins are way more toxic. So your liver immediately has to handcuff those toxins with what's called conjugates. These are chemicals, usually proteins, that can be something as simple as sulfur that handcuffs the toxins and the hormones to allow your body to then take them out through the colon or through the kidneys, okay? So you have two ways out. Well, you actually have three, but the first two ways are out through the liver and urinate out through the kidney or out through the liver and defecate out through the colon, okay? Either in your urine or your bowel movement. That's how toxins get out. If your kidneys are doing their job okay, but the liver's kind of overwhelmed, your colon has to then take over and do more of the job and it's not doing a good job, or if you're constipated, then the third way out is through your skin. So oftentimes when you're toxic and you're not using your normal detoxification pathways efficiently, you're gonna see rashes and acne on your skin. You're gonna see the effects of the toxins coming out on your skin. So it's super important to try to get this back into balance. Now, one of the things that you can do is, number one, you need to eat foods to actually help your body, your liver, do its jobs properly. You need to provide it with the foods that it needs to actually create the conjugates, the handcuffs to get those hormones and toxins out of the system. And one of the foods that is really, really important are your cruciferous vegetables. Those are the stinky vegetables that produce sulfur. Those vegetables are your broccoli, your cauliflower, your Brussels sprouts, your cabbage, your kale. Those vegetables provide nutrition, especially sulfur, but you can also get it from things from like onions and garlic and leeks that actually helps your liver produce more conjugates so your body can get rid of your hormones and toxins when you're done with your hormones. Now, one of the things that happens if your colon's out of balance is that the normal conjugation, so this is what conjugation looks like. You have an estrogen molecule per se, but this could be anything. It could be testosterone, it could be DHEA, it could be cortisol, that is bound up to a conjugate, in this case, glucuronidase, and that conjugate actually will take that hormone out of the system through the colon and out, out through a bowel movement, or out back through the liver and out through the kidneys. The conjugate handcuffs it so it's not so toxic anymore. It's not no longer water soluble. That is actually really important. But if your gut's out of balance and your friendly bacteria are not sufficient enough and there's any pathogens in there or there's just not enough friendly bacteria, these bonds get broken by enzymes produced by the imbalanced gut bacteria and now you're releasing hormones to be recycled back into the bloodstream again creating a hormonal overload. Now, this is very, very common because oftentimes we don't eat all the foods that we need to actually help our liver. 
So what's the second thing that you can do to help your liver? Well, you can do liver cleanses. And what does that look like? Well, there's lots of supplements out there. Milk thistle is a really excellent herb to support the liver. But I really like to do a dietary liver cleanse. And the reason I like to do that is because it's easy and it's super effective. So I have a great liver cleanse for you that I'm gonna make available in a download um, that will be in the description. But it literally, the kind of the key ingredients here is lemon and olive oil. So lemon juice, what it does is it stimulates your bile ducts, those little ducts that produce the bile from the liver and goes out into the gallbladder to actually clear. It helps to clear the bile ducts. So start adding some lemon to your water. Drink some hot lemon water in the morning. It really helps to clear out your bile ducts and helps your liver do its job more efficiently. And olive oil and lemon juice combined is an excellent way to clear out the gallbladder, especially of sediment, even to help clear those bile ducts, almost in a shot, like you can actually take equal amounts, maybe a teaspoon up to a tablespoon of each, lemon juice and olive oil, and a shot of that if you're feeling any kind of indigestion can really make a difference if it is liver related and you're not clearing those toxins, it'll just clear that up. It's great for people who have issues with their gallbladder. You can take it before you go to bed. So that's part of my liver cleanse along with specific foods that really help to heal and clean out the liver. Artichokes, for instance, are excellent liver cleanse foods. And beets, I love beets as a liver cleanse. Beetroot as well as the greens. So the liver cleanse diet is the second way that you can really try to keep things moving. And then the third thing you need to do, because the one of the ways out is through your kidneys, is to keep your kidneys functioning well. And you want to keep very well hydrated. And one thing to help to flush the kidneys is something pretty simple called marshmallow root tea. You can drink a quart of mar marshmallow root tea to actually help to flush your kidneys. Now you don't want to do this on a, on a daily basis, but maybe once a month or once every three months to try to kind of flush things out, that can be really helpful. Remember when you're making medicinal teas, you want to absolutely be sure that you're steaming it or steeping the tea for at least 15 minutes to get all of the um, herbal extract out and make it the most effective as possible. So. I just want to point out that the detoxification pathways are super important to your hormonal health. And if you can keep your liver clean and your kidney flushed out and your colon running well, remember with your colon, lots of fiber, lots of water, then you're going to have much healthier hormone metabolism and healthier hormone levels. So now that you know what you need to do to detoxify your liver to keep your hormones healthy, it's just not easy if the rest of your hormones are out of balance. That's why I created the Hormone Reboot Training, for you to discover how to get your hormones balanced naturally. It's free. Just click the link in the description below this video. So what's one hormone healing tip you might try this week? Leave your answer in the comment section below and make sure you sign up for my Hormone Reboot Training. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.